Good morning all. We have very interesting topic today. That's about the cost ratio. We want to talk about the cost ratio today because it's very important to manage the restaurant in planning, in strategy, and also for the sustainability of the business. So when we talk about cost ratio, we generally in the restaurant we have four or five very famous cost ratios. We have a food cost, beverage cost, inventory turnover ratio. We have cost per cover CPC, which I discuss in one of my episodes. So these are the cost ratio used by most of the restaurant managers and the owners and even the investors to see how the business is. Although most of the cost ratios are used for the cost management, but this very important concept, very famous concept. Benefit cost analysis or benefit cost ratio. We call it BCR. B C R benefit cost ratio and this is used for strategy for planning and for decision making but before jumping into the benefit cost ratio or BCR I want to explain you cost value ratio because both are interrelated and calculate a very similar pattern it's very easy to calculate so when we talk about the cost value ratio which is also the food cost the beverage cost all these are the cost value ratio we have a cost, we have a value, and we find out how much cost percentage to generate certain business. So the food cost, let's say our food cost is $30 and the sale value is $100. So 30 divided by 100 multiplied by 100 is 30%. So 30% is my food cost, and that's how the cost value ratio are used. It is used in the food cost, in beverage cost, in many data-driven decisions. We can define it in a simple words. When the cost and value by inputting the cost is equal, the product is 100, which means the cost and value is simple. The moment this 100% goes down, it means we start generating more value. If the cost is down, this percentage also goes down. And that's how the basic formula for the cost value ratio works. And that's how the food cost is explained. I can explain it again in the food cost ratio. We can take an example of the food cost at an outlet. If the outlet food cost for an item is $30 and sold for the $100, then the food cost will be 30%. 30 divided by 100 multiplied by 100. So the cost is divided by the value and that's how we got this percentage which is called cost value ratio. And now let's jump on the BCR, which is benefit cost ratio. It is just opposite of the cost value ratio. Here what we do, instead of cost, divide by value, we divide value with the cost. Here I've taken the same example. The cost of material is $30, sale price is 100, but the BCR or the benefit cost ratio is 3.33. Here I divide the value 100 with a 30, and the product is 3.33. So it's just an opposite to the cost value ratio and it is used for completely different purpose. It gives an indication how much value can be generated by inputting certain costs like our BCR is 3.33 which means each dollar generates 3.3 dollar. If I invest 10 dollar I will get 33 dollar. So that's a BCR. BCR gives us an indication of maximum sale that can be generated by inputting the cost and that's why this ratio is very important and used for the strategy and the planning and the decision making the best example is if a restauranter can arrange a raw material worth of six thousand and if i use a bcr 3.33 from my example the expected sale will be twenty thousand so there's a limitation the limitation can be because of the he has a limited credit facility he has a limited cash he has a limited production area. He has a limited staff. There can be a lot, lot of limitation. But the BCR is explaining him how much revenue can be generated. So we have five points which need to be considered in decision making. So to planning to improve the sale, he has to increase the storage space. Or second one is a staff availability, kitchen space, which is preparation area, equipments, equipment can be limited, or increase the credit facility. Under uses, BCR used for the menu planning. Suppose you work on the BCR 3.33. Again, I go back to 3.33 because we have taken that example. So you have a recipe cost of all the items. Your item costs come 
15, you have 3.33, you multiply 15 by 3.33 and you got the product, that's your selling price. So in the menu price also, you try to use the BCR, not exactly 3.33, you can go as a 3, you can go as 2.5 and that's how you start preparing your menu price. And since we keep doing discounting in the process of sale and if you keep calculating the BCR, you can see if you have put 3 BCR but in between come down to 2.7, 2.8. Why? Because we start discounting and if the volume not increasing then again you need to start working on it. So the BCR indicate your revenue generation, how much cost is input and how much is coming out of it. And if BCR goes, goes down which means you are generating less revenue and inputting more cost. If you start reviewing it periodically you can see if your BCR consistent, let's say 3, it come down to 2.5, 2.7, 2.8, you know what's going on. And when BCR go, start increasing to 3.3, 3.4, maybe 3.5, you can see the high contribution items are selling more now. So the BCR keep indicating what's going on in your business. For a restauranter, it's easy to use this BCR concept on weekly or monthly basis and then start creating a trend every month how much is generated because certain item with high contribution is selling certain item with a low contribution is selling sometimes you do discounting sometimes you do the packaging sometimes you do combo meal with the cost keep going up cost structure keep moving and the price keep changing but the bci is the final product of entire your monthly sale or weekly sale is it continuing three it's coming down it's going increasing and that shows and indicate you how much money you are generating by inputting a cost. So I close my session with the three points. Use this cost ratio for product pricing, wastage control, and revising the cost structure. When you start using this cost ratio regularly in your business, periodically, weekly, monthly, start creating a trend. You see how your business is working, how your business is performing, and you start making the strategy and making a quick decisions to improve your business to be sustainable. If you have any question, please write in the comments or connect me through my website hoteliersfinance.com. I'll happy to come back to you and make video on those topic. Till that time, have a great day. See you soon.